So in this tutorial we are going to talk about how you can create your own grenade system in Unreal Engine using Nigra Fluids. So let's get in. Firstly you have to go into the plugins and have to activate the Nigra Fluids and restart your editor. Now go into your content panel and create a Nigra system. And instead of creating my own I am going to use the example ones and here you can select any of the Nigra you want. I am going with this explosion one. And I am going to name it ng explosion. Now drag your system into your viewport so that we can do some of the viewport settings in it. So under the details panel make sure to uncheck the draw borders so our border will not appear in the game and you can check the size as per your need. I am going with 400 by 400 and 700. Now we have to make a blueprint for our bullet. Now coming back to our content drawer and making a blueprint for our actor class and you can name it whatever you want. And inside our blueprint we will add a static mesh with which will be our blueprint itself and now we will add a radial force which will basically help to apply the force and work on with the physics around it and then we will add a particle system which will give an kind of animation to our bullet and lastly we will get a projectile movement for movement of our bullet. Now going into static mesh and replacing our mesh with a sphere you can do it with your any suitable mesh. I am using the normal sphere. Now scaling it down to make it look like a bullet. I am not going to scale it much downer. I want it little bigger so that I can destroy the objects using this too which will make it look kinda real. So now going into our material session and choosing material I am going to go with this black one now in the particle system i am going to continue with this fire one which will make it look which is kind of good for this and now for the radial force i am going to keep the radius around 800 you can change it as per your needs and i am just going to click this vc change uh, you can do it if you want but it's not compulsory and uh, keeping everything remain same and now it's time for our movement now i'm going to make it around 2000 and 2.5 thousand so now it's kind of good enough and just that's enough for it Now moving ahead towards our event graph, deleting all this, selecting our static mesh and going on event on hit. So we can command it as our mesh go get hit by object or any of the things. So as per our mesh get hit, it will spawn a system, system of our Nigra system that we already created and it will and that will create it at a particular location, the location of the static mesh where it hit it in the world location. So connecting the world location with the spawner node and checking our Nigra system that we created. Now compiling and saving it to avoid any crash. Now I am going to scale it around 2 to make it look more bigger. Now for radial force just drag the radial force in your graph and type fire impulse so that it will impulse. The radial force will also impulse there. Now we have to make a sound so that it's feel kind realistic. I am going with the content spec sound which is kinda explosion so it's kind of good i'm going with it and it will also get in that same location so i'm copying the location point and connecting that with that same thing at that location and at lastly we want our mesh to be destroyed so we are going to add a destroy actor here and i will just compile and save it now we will move further to make our newly created bullet to be spawned not that older one which earlier uses to be spawned so we are going in the 
weapon component and changing the old bullet with our newly created bullet now here we go for a test so it's kind of working but our border is still there we have to delete it now going back to our nigra system and double click it to get into the settings and at the left hand side you will find this border you just have to delete this border session and save our nigra system again and then you will find that everything is just okay now we have to create a mesh which to which we can destroy it so going into fracture mode and making our mesh fractured so now this hut is completely fractured we have to just go in its settings and turn off the show bones color to get our textures back and also we have to go in the damage session and make the damage to be downer you can do it as per your need i am going with 200 that is kind of enough for me if you are copying my all settings then make sure to make it 200 or you can go with the one two now it's finally time to test it here you can see that it's really working and the physics acting on our hut is also kind of good so that's it for today and i'm going to start a unreal engine tutorial series so subscribe to learn bye bye